Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, let me get to my real microphone to do a real intro. Can't do this to you, it's too bad. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Today we're building Crit Kami for real. I had you with the April 1st. It was just me reading a story. I think I might change the title and thumbnail so that it matches what it actually is. Because this is an actual Crit Kami building video, believe it or not. I did most of the farming as like the theme of the video intentionally on the train. It's all I did, farm for Crit Kami. Today's the day we're gonna try her out. It was a great experience. I'm super happy to have gone. I kind of tried to defeat my own fears by traveling by myself and as an introvert it was something that uh, it was definitely pretty taxing but I'm glad I've done it and proud that I've done it. So before we get started let's open a Pokemon card pack then we'll get started. Okay don't tell anyone but when I was in London I actually went to a Pokemon convention <laughs> so they also gave me a couple packs and I don't know if the luck was blessed in them but I got four incredible cards. Yeah we got pretty lucky there. The question is does the luck transpire to France back home and does it transpire to our artifacts mostly? That's maybe what I'm most interested in. Slowpoke, incredibly pretty art. Litleo, little lion, little boy, rock rough, another little guy. It's just a little guy. Parmy, this is so cute. First shiny ever, very cute. Paldian Tauros, it's just, that's his first non small guy. Skip Plume. Dendra, we already have Dendra. Give me Geo or something. Tandem Mouse, two cute little mice hanging out, eating some berries. Pupitar, but this time shiny. We got that already. Clavel, it's a full art old man. He's actually like the teacher of the area. That's a really cool card. That's actually really cool. And a basic energy. I'm pretty sure full art cards are like the expensive ones, but usually, <laughs> believe it or not, just like in Genshin Impact, people are more interested in the female characters. So this guy might not be that good, but if it's a girl, they are mad expensive, these cards. <laughs> now you know. Enough talking. Thank you for your patience. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get into some train farming. It might be me talking over it now because the audio is going to sound like <laughs> laptop microphone. Hey, I do indeed have to do a voiceover as my microphone didn't work, unfortunately, on the trip. Now, it doesn't really matter because I couldn't really commentate on the train anyway. I would have felt very awkward. That's a decent piece. <laughs> I would have felt very awkward because it's other people are there doing their thing and me just talking to myself on the train would just be a little bit too much for me for now. Maybe in the future. I don't know. It's also a bit impolite, I feel. Anyway, I did film with my phone as well. So all you can hear is because, you know, on the train, that's all you can hear, really. I wasn't commentating. But here's some shots of it. Pretty bad, to be honest. One or two things were a bit unfortunate. After a run, some kid yelled, No, I don't want any more! Talking about his food or something. <laughs> but the artifacts were awful, so the timing was really good. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have that recorded now because the microphone didn't work. I also had a cute interaction with one of the hostesses who said that she really liked the stickers on my laptop. I put some Genshin stickers on my laptop so I would recognize it if there was an environment with like multiple of them. I'd know like that'd be mine. And I actually had a spare, so I gave her one. And a couple of minutes later, she came back and she had put it on her card case. And she showed me like really proud, like, oh, look at how cute it is. Which I thought was really sweet. Unfortunately, didn't get to film or record any of that either. I also bought my monthly pools in Britain, which means the 50-50 for father. If we lose it, I will blame on all the Brits that watch this video. Okay? You guys know now. <laughs> I'm blaming you if it goes sour. But generally, I did love it there though. And as far as I saw, the people there were also very kind, so... I was fond of it. By the way, as you can see in the background, the loot was pretty ass. I got a few good pieces on Golden Troop, but obviously not what we're looking for. And I actually did get a couple good pieces on Machose as well. So I can't really complain. I'd say our luck was pretty average, but we got we got some some stuff worth writing home about, which is technically what I'm doing right now. I'm writing home about it to you. <laughs> you are home. But yeah, Golden Troop good pieces don't matter, except if we're building off-field Crit Komi. Now that's wild. Now that's crazy. The hotel Wi-Fi and train Wi-Fi obviously weren't good at all, but they worked and that's what was important. I'm commentating this while watching the clips back at the same time as you, by the way. So when I see a max resin at some point, that was my first day there and I went to the restaurant for the first time. Obviously, don't worry, I took some food pictures. Here you go. Wow, very exciting. Somehow more than the artifacts though, which is pretty bad. I also had to play the touchpad and do this Kamimi with 300 ms of lag. And then for added difficulty, I forfund Yelan because it was like, you know what? Yeah, her charge attack does the AoE and it makes it unbearable. That's a great idea. Uh, wasn't a great idea. 
Lag was definitely the main theme, but I'd say it was still a lot of fun. Genshin felt, yes, because of lag, very different for a bit. It broke routine, and I think that was really good for me. Clearly here, I was going through the underwater canal tunnel from France to the UK, and this dude could not handle it. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. I actually laughed out loud in the train. It would was a bit awkward. I went with the SNCF, which is like the French train station thing, whatever you want to call it. And shout out to my French travel enthusiasts. I'm sorry for you. I also went to Eurostar and my God, the Eurostar is so much superior. It's actually nuts. It's so much nicer in every way. Okay, their internet also sucked though, but that's forgiven. Yeah, I haven't been really reacting to the pieces individually, but you get to see them all, right? And uh, you know, you know whether they're good or bad. One thing I wanted to say about it is that usually when I say something's garbage, I don't mean in general, like as a whole for forever or whatever. When I say it's garbage, it's for what I'm currently farming for. Because people always are like, dude, that's not garbage. Why are you calling it garbage? You're shit at the game. And sure, that's a given, but <laughs> I don't mean it that way usually. Well, look at that. I don't have enough voice recordings, so I have to react to these. Whoa, defense, man. What defense? That was great. I also thought this was funny. Uh, Gaming and Chiori swap places after Gaming's E. Just like what side people drive on in the UK. It's the other way around. <laughs> Ridiculous. Well, we have a little bit of time left and uh, I don't really have much to say anymore, but I do have a lot of fun clips to show, such as this one. I went to the park at one point. I, you know, I wanted to see all the landmarks. I went to the Big Ben, classic, had to. Went to Buckingham Palace, classic. Was looking for Kate because she was, you know, lost or something. There was drama about it for a while before I went to London. But I mostly wanted to show you this. There was, apparently, I just, the squirrels and I were just friends on a spiritual level because they had absolutely no problem walking up to me at the park, which I thought was incredible. Anyway, I had a great time, and I hope you didn't mind this little ramble about my journey and seeing the farming in the background, and I think it's time for us to test her out. Hope you like that as well. Hey everybody, I'm home. You can probably tell by the quality of the audio. <laughs> I am going to equip some Marche C pieces as it is the gear that we farmed for Crit Komi. Let's do it. So we definitely got two pieces with double crit on it. Let's see if we can roll them. I think the main stat on the sands doesn't really matter. We just want crit rate stuff. And I don't know if we have any hydro on set. That's the one scary thing. So this might have to be our filler piece, which means we need a crit rate set circle. Huh. Hey, that's not bad at all. <laughs> we have this from the past. Guys, we're fine. Right. Stop worrying. All right, we got the four-piece Marchese equipped. We need to level the flower and the feather. The sands is leveled a little bit. So let's start with this one. HP percent. Sure. Would have liked crit rate more, but I'll take it. Now, these very spicy, these very important pieces. <laughs> it's good to be back home. Uh, the defense percent luck is completely bad. Crit damage, good. Crit rate, good, great even, even better. Uh, it's weird because on this set you usually wouldn't really want crit rate, I'd assume. Ooh, flat HP, that was not, that was, that's the worst one actually. I was gonna say because you get so much crit rate from the set itself, so you don't really- Ugh, ugh. Alright, not great. Avoid- oh my goodness. All you had to do is avoid that! No! <laughs> no! Hello? Hello? Crit rate, please. Hello? <laughs> What the f what? Oh, yeah, look at that. She has talents, of course. You'd almost forget about that, huh? Thankfully, this won't make a difference. It is HP scaling, but it's based on her healing bonus as well. So this is for a normal attack a little bit. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> She's completely maxed, guys. Uh, let's look at the crit rate. Minus 40 still. All right. But wait, easy fix. That right there will help a little bit too. We're now only minus 6%. Okay. Now we keep in mind. Whoa, nice little spin. Did not do that myself. We get 36 from here. And then if we hit a frozen target with double cryo, is that how it works? I think we go Kokomi, Farina, Rosa, and one more cryo maybe? And then we should have like 50% crit rate, I think. And I need to, I don't even remember how Rosa's giving crit thing works. So I'm going to check that. Rosa's crit rate. Okay, well, I don't care about that. I want to, I want to share. <laughs> Casting Rise of Termination increases crit of all nearby party members by 15 of Rosa's crit rate. Nice. 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 That's pretty sick. What the hell just happened? I just got 17% crit rate on an energy recharge piece. Um, I should be sad about it, I think, because it can be really good on something else. <laughs> but my support Rosa is looking spicy now, though. What is this? It might be, you know, this has crit rate as well. I'm not even joking. It might be better to do this. <laughs> okay, I can't. I, 
<laughs> I can't take myself seriously when I'm doing this. No, no, no. Minus six. But wait, we can just have her in the positives from the get-go. That'd be that'd be really cool. Oh my god, <laughs> six point nice. nine crit rate. Nice. I cannot believe that's not intentional, I promise. I didn't remember there being so many crabs on this beach, you know? That punch in the back, which gave me crit rate. And then I use this, it gives me even more, no? And now I do this, and I'm punching frozen enemies. But if we check this, oh, what, 43% crit rate. Okay, now we need to get a crit. No, now I need to... 21! <laughs> I've done it. This is all I cared about. This is what I've been, for, for a week, I've just been punching the same domain. To achieve a 21k with Kokomi charge attack. That's it. That's all I wanted. I'm done. <laughs> no. And oh, it's so it's so self-sufficient too, because I, I heal myself with it. Oh, this is a wild comp, guys. This is really, really good. Definitely. I'm back to not critting at all, actually. Never mind. What what happened to him? <laughs> I needed you. We can most certainly achieve an even higher crit rate out by doing this we spawn this it's gonna consume my health i can then also just get health back wait we eat a little stack of monstat stuff what is this 20 percent perfect 63 it's wonderful we almost got positive 69 we need six more percent crit rate i don't think i can i'm gonna be over it over the amount it's back down right that was so quick How'd it go down so quickly? You lose crit rate at the lightning speed with this. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Let's try and kill something a bit more healthy. Yeah. Boom, seven. I can't tell how much damage. I'm also running out of stamina too quick. I'm only at 49, what did I do differently? We did one shot this thing though. I, I'll say, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a crit me doing it. I mean, it's definitely the crit me. It's a hundred percent it's just that crit me damage is just so much maybe i should burst as well we could get even more damage because she's doing so much already oh sorry about that slime hello it's the favorite spot we've always gone to i missed i'm gonna wait you know what because i need that extra crit rate boop bam boom burst bam i thought it was a 47 but it was just a 4.7 13k wild oh 50 percent crit rate the odds they're in our favor ow how much crit does that mean we have in total because she gets like minus 80 or something right how much is it minus 100 so at times we have 168 percent crit rate or whatever much however much it was we only have 82 crit damage though but our talent's only level two you know what it's actually not even bad if i leveled her past level 40 one day maybe she'd actually deal damage How's her healing too? Ow. <laughs> Ow. Not very impressive. But you can't do everything. Imagine she did everything. That'd be OP. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's such a shame the microphone didn't work. It's something I should have checked, but I was really worried about everything, so I didn't really take too much time to uh, double check, triple check everything. Either way, I still hope you enjoyed it. I'm recording the outro actually on the bad laptop microphone because it's iconic and uh, I want to remember the trip the way it was. I think that's everything. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you very soon with another banger. All right, thank you for watching, thank you for your patience, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.